Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. You know, I know that some of you are at that point right now where you think this is never going to end. I'm never going to be able to eat again. But you have to realize that things change. And <laughs> when I was in my immediate dentures, by my third day, I felt like I'd been suffering for an entire year trying to get used to my dentures because time just drags and drags when you're suffering. It amazes me that how fast time is flying by right now. When I first moved down here to Utah, I was in my dentures for a couple of years. And I was still struggling with my top denture. Don't get me wrong, I could eat, I could function, but my bone was still solidifying on the top, which meant my gums were still shrinking. At two and a half years into my dentures, and I had a unique case because my bone apparently looked like Swiss cheese, so it had to really solidify, it shrunk a lot. But at two and a half years, I had to get my third hard reline done on my top denture because I was using three and a half applications of denture fit in my denture. And with my mouth as small as it is, three and a half applications was a lot. Plus, I was using adhesive on top of that. So my dentures, every time I ate something, that silicone and adhesive would squish in the denture. So you could imagine trying to eat something, it was like chewing on bubble gum, no matter what it was. And because the, the silicone and the, and the adhesive would squish in the denture. So at this point, after my hard reline, I use a half a tube. I put one line down the middle of my denture and one little line around the trough and I put my denture in and hold it for four minutes and I get flashing everywhere. That's how tight my denture fits. That's pretty cool. I use denture fit and that's how tight my denture fits. <laughs> I just caught that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just caught that. But anyway, that's how well my denture fits. My denture fits so well that I can actually wear it without denture fit in it. But like I've said before, that microscopic little thin layer of silicone in my denture gives me just enough cushion. And I've said it a million times, microscopic changes in our mouth make it the world of difference. Okay, that's why when you get a sore spot and you take your denture to the dentist and say, hey, I got a sore spot right here. He marks that sore spot, he takes it in the back, uses one of those little stone wheels on his on his Dremel tool, and he goes, Pfft. that's it. One little, Pfft. that's all he does. He brings it back, and miraculously, within a day or two, your sore spot is gone, because that's all it takes. Pfft. One little buzz. Not even enough to create dust. Just enough to knock off a microscopic layer on that little hump in the denture is enough to alleviate the sore spot. So I talk about it all the time when I say microscopic changes in our mouth make a huge difference. Your mouth is literally the most sensitive, I don't know what to call it, so I'll just call your mouth an organ because really it is, it's an it's a organ all of its, all its own not scientifically or medically, obviously, but your mouth is an organ. I mean, it, it mulches and dissolves, starts to digest your process for your food. But your mouth is the most sensitive thing on your entire body. So what I mean by that is, and, and why I say microscopic changes, and you'll notice this when you're wearing your dentures. If you get something under your bottom denture, 
you may not notice it immediately or you may notice it and you may just kind of not really think it's bothering you but the next day you have a sore spot or you go to take your denture out to clean it if you're adhesive free like I am get something under my denture and I can feel it and I look at my denture real close under the light and I can't see anything nothing so I'll rinse my mouth I'll wipe off the denture put the denture back in and ah, it's still there so I take it out again and I look at it real close and I wipe it out again and I rinse out my mouth again put it back in and it's still there I can't see it but I can feel it because your mouth is that sensitive and it's somebody was saying that they're going to get implants because the doctor told them that way their teeth will feel like real teeth well, I have to say that I can tap on this tooth and I can feel it right here. I can tap on this tooth and I can feel it right here. That tooth, I can feel it right here. They're almost like my natural teeth. Your gums will learn to accommodate the senses and the nerves for each tooth. It's funny because I never thought this would happen, but when I get done eating, I can literally feel if I got something between my teeth and I can use my fingernail and know exactly where it is and pick it out or a toothpick or something. And yes, some of that has to do with your lip rubbing on it and some has to do with your tongue touching it or whatever, but you automatically know where the gap in the teeth are. You don't have to guess. You automatically know. It's funny how that works. Once you become sensitized, once you become sensitive to your dentures, once you get fully used to them, you get used to wearing them, you get used to eating with them, you get comfortable with them, you can start to feel where the teeth are. I never thought I could chew my fingernails with my dentures, but obviously you can. <laughs> I chewed that nail off and I chewed that nail off. And it's just funny to me because I was sitting on the couch the other night and my brother was like, dude, stop chewing on your nails. And I looked at him and I said, you can't chew your nails with dentures. While I had my finger in my mouth biting the nail off, I said, you can't chew your nails with dentures and then I realized I was chewing my nails with my dentures. An old habit that I have not had or been able to do for over 20 years. I used to chew my nails a lot when I was younger. I used to just gnaw on them. Gnaw them all the way down till they bled. And I wasn't able to do that with all my rotten teeth in my mouth for over 20 years. And it's amazing to me that my gums have become so sensitive to feel with the teeth so that I could feel as I was, I could feel it as I was chewing the nail off. I knew exactly, I could feel it in the gums. I knew exactly where the nail was. I knew exactly how to bite it properly and everything, just like I had my natural teeth. And I ended up chewing two nails off. That's a habit I don't want to start again. I've gotten in the habit over the last 20 plus years of trimming my nails. And I don't want to get in the habit of chewing them off again. But it amazes me how old habits will come back when you have teeth. So things change. And you have to be you have to understand that you're not going to be in this position forever of I'm never going to be able to eat again. I can't stop gagging. Uh, my dentures don't fit correctly. I, you know, uh, I can't wear them because they hurt. All of that is going to change. All 
all of that is going to get better. But I understand that when you're struggling and you're frustrated and you're aggravated and you're in pain, any of the above, that a day just drags on forever. Believe me, I understand that. Been a lot of times in my life where days just dragged on forever. So once things change, your days will start getting shorter. Once you start getting comfortable with your dentures, a day is going to fly by. You're going to wonder where time is going. I hope this helps some of you. I don't know if it will, but hopefully it will. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.